Hello, I am Teacher Deck, and our topic for today is addition and subtraction of fractions. At the end of the class, students should be able to first identify the steps in adding fractions, next, identify the steps in subtracting fractions. Let's start by adding this similar fractions. We have 3 8 plus 4 8. The basic steps is first add the numerator, 3 plus 4, that is 7. And then the denominator, we will just copy it. So we have here 8 as the denominator. So our final answer is 7 8. Let us say we have 14 over 15 minus 10 over 15. Once again, we will execute the subtraction in our numerator. 14 minus 10, we have 4. 15 is our denominator. We will not do anything about it. We will just copy it and write it on our answer. So we have 4 over 15. Now, there are times where in our fractions are dissimilar. Ibig sabihin ay magkaiba sila ng denominator. We cannot just add the denominator katulad sa numerator, but we have to find the LCD or the least common denominator. How do we do that? So we have to write the multiples of each number. Meron table dito si teacher deck as you can see here. So I put 8 on the first row and then 3 on the next one. I wrote 8 and then 16 and then 24. For 3, I wrote 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, finally 24. We have the list common. No? They are the same. Common denominator of 8 and 3 and that is 24. What we will do next is multiply these numbers. I'll put it back. Alright, so 3 times 3 and 8 times 3. 1 times 8 and 3 times 8 para magkaroon tayo ng denominator na 24. So from 3, 8, it will become 9 and 24. From 1 third, it will become 8 and 24. Pwede na ba natin i-add ang ating mga numerators this time? Of course, because we have the same denominator. 9 plus 8 is equal to 17 and 24 is our denominator. Let's say we have 5 over 6 minus 3 over 5. So we have 6 and 5 as the denominator. We have to find the LCD. So 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So we have the same number now. How many 6 do we have to make it 30? It will be multiplied by 5. How many 5 are there for 30? There are 6, so we have to multiply it by 6. Let's take a look. From 5, 6, it will become blank over 30. 5 times 5. From 3 fifth over 30, it will become 3 times 6. Our new numerators are 25 over 30 minus 18 over 30. We can now subtract the numbers. First, let's copy the denominator, which is 30. 25 minus 18 is 7. Our final answer is 7 over 30. We will watch another video for the mixed numbers.